hard in this fight. I've given everything in this race. This victory is mine. This is the fight of my life. Tonight I can reach the top and I've done everything to prepare. But I don't know how much more I can give. I'm all empty and I feel like a mesh of adrenaline, exhaustion and disorientation. I struggle even to think in a straight line. Moments of pain amplify with sudden impacts of darkness from fists that are hungry for my blood. Beyond the pain, this fight and all my preparations seem like nothing but broken flashbacks that vaporise as quickly as I see them. But tonight, nothing is just a moment. By all counts, this fight could be the end of a journey that has taken my entire life. Through years of training, years of hard work and years of getting beat up. Preparing for a fight of this scale doesn't happen overnight. You don't just wake up one day and think, today I'll become a boxing champion. It takes your whole life to prepare for, and the one thing you have to come to terms with is this, it will really hurt to pursue victory. Training will hurt, but even more so will the thousands of fists you will have to face on the way up. All of your fights will have opponents, but like tonight, some will have enemies that really want to destroy you. But if you can learn to hold your character, it will also hold you. It was once said that the reputation of a thousand years might depend on the conduct of a single moment and nothing rings truer in the boxing ring. The only way to hold up character in the midst of suffering is to be rooted in something much greater than you. Something no one can take from you, even if they beat you. Being rooted like this will give you faith in the impossible being possible. People never realise how important faith is to victory. They see the talent, the skills and all the conditioning and while those come with the territory, no one sees that the biggest thing you personally rely on is the faith to see the challenge through. Faith will keep you as strong as an ox, but it also needs protection. All day long, people including yourself will make comments without realising what damage it can do. It must be your resolve to look beyond any opinions and fix your eyes on the prize. Let the rest fly by and make sure you're always the one to speak about the vision in confidence and faith, no matter what. What you say and how you say it before a fight can build or destroy both your confidence and your support from others. More importantly, what you say to yourself during the fight will ultimately determine the outcome. When the blows are raining down on you and you've got nothing left to give, but you still get up and push back, that's when you don't just overcome your enemy, but also yourself. To add to training, a champion fighter also needs to live a pure life. This means absolute purity of body, purity of mind and purity of the soul. Here lies another important fight, as your greatest resistance is selfishness, centred around living life just like you want to. Living a self-sacrificing life of discipline is the only way to keep you pure for the championship fight. Finally, after everything is said and done to prepare, absolutely nothing is more important than this, to love the entire game. Love for what you do will take you through any pain. It will let you persevere through the worst onslaughts and it will keep your cool with an opponent that desires to ruin you. Losing your cool can let you lose the fight, but love can hold you strong and disciplined. It will hold your character and keep you pure. Nothing makes pain as bearable as an enduring love that knows you will take any hammering, because no matter what happens, you will heal up and get back in the room. This love will let you continue your pursuit through the most humiliating beatings and the most dreaded opponents. But without love you will fight with an emptiness that no amount of victories can fill. Win or no win. Without love you can only end up bored, frustrated 
and purposeless. You might even quit altogether. Love is what everything is all about. My whole life has been one focused effort to make sure that I can stand my ground in this fight. I have done everything to keep standing and I will not give up or back down. This is my fight. I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing.